Hi everyone, my name is Vilasni and today I'll be taking you through the business process of a consumer electronics company that employs 20 people in departments including sales, marketing, finance and technical development based in three locations, Spain, South Africa and the headquarters in the US. They have requirements ranging from accounting to social media marketing. These requirements can be condensed into four processes like lead generation, sales, order fulfillment and customer support. Let's take a quick look at what each of these processes entails. First, the lead generation process starts with leads coming in from different sources like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, newsletters, online chat, website inquiries, and field agents. Now, let's look at the sales process. Once the leads come in, they're categorized as online or offline, which just means retail and wholesale customers. With offline wholesale leads, the field agents get in touch with retail stores to take orders. While they are in the field, they are required to add expenses to their expense management app. Once the orders are in the system, they need to check stock availability. When working with retail leads coming from website inquiries, the sales agents follow up and get their requirements and then provide a cost estimate for the customer. If the customer accepts the estimate, the stock availability needs to be checked. If not, the estimate would be updated and sent again. This is repeated until the deal closes. For online sales, the stock information on the site needs to be synced with an inventory management app so that the customer will be informed whether the stock is available when they're browsing the products. When the customer makes a purchase, the order details need to be updated in the inventory app and an invoice needs to be sent to the customer. This ends the sales cycle. Next, let's take a look at the order fulfillment process. When orders come in, either online or offline, the stock availability is checked. If the items are not in stock, the products are procured from the vendors. If they are in stock, an invoice is sent for payment and then the products are packed and shipped. This ends the order management cycle. When you purchase online or offline, there's always a risk that there could be an issue with delivery or even the product itself. This brings us to the customer support process. This process tracks issues reported through channels like social media, email, help center, and online chat. The agents need to check with the relevant team to get order updates and help the customer with a resolution. For a company like this, operating in different regions makes managing orders, revenue, and delivery a more complex task. All these processes are interlinked, so the only way to get accurate and comprehensive reports is to sync data across the different processes. So those are the processes involved in running a consumer electronics business. Now Raj will walk you through the solutions for all four of these processes powered by various Zoho applications. Hello everyone. Thanks Vilasni for your detailed explanation of the business flow. Zoho offers a wide range of marketing applications to generate leads and retain existing customers. We saw that leads are generated from social media channels like Facebook and Twitter. Zoho Social can help you track, maintain and monitor them. You can schedule your posts and capture contacts through likes, shares, comments, and mentions from Facebook and Twitter. These can then be pushed into Zoho CRM, our sales app. Additionally, Zoho Social offers integration with Facebook lead ads to push the leads from Facebook lead forms to Zoho CRM. You can see the sync status of Facebook leads with Zoho CRM here. For leads from newsletters and web forms, you can use Zoho campaigns and Zoho forms. We provide snippet codes that you can easily embed into your website from Zoho campaigns and Zoho forms. If you're not familiar with this process, you can find a step-by-step -step guide in the description below. This snippet code is for the web form we created in Zoho forms. Zoho Sales IQ can help you manage your online chat and Zoho CRM can help your sales agents working on an off-road. With the Zoho CRM mobile application, your field agents can add the contact information of your new leads and with the Zoho Inventory mobile application, you can take orders from the existing and new clients on the go. You can also configure an approval process in both of these applications. The field agents handling offline orders need to use an expense management application. We have Zoho Expense mobile application, which you can use to track expenses. The expenses created in Zoho Expense can be added to a report and sent to the reporting manager for approval. The approved expenses are then synced with our accounting application 
Zaho Books. Now that we know how you can capture leads from various sources with Zaho, here's how you can simplify your work even more. Zaho CRM seamlessly integrates with most of other Zaho applications, so you can get a centralized overview of the customer activity. This is the interface of Zaho CRM where I have created a custom dashboard that will only be visible to me since I have set it to private. You can see the number of incoming leads and their lead sources here. You can create custom dashboards to make it easier for you and your colleagues to get a clear idea of your sales data on a day-to-day -day basis. To learn how to get a consolidated report based on the revenue generated in three different regions, please keep watching until the end. We saw that you can see the leads from different sources in Zoho CRM. Your sales agents can convert online inquiry leads into contacts once they qualify them. If the prospects are interested in an estimate, you can create it using the Zoho Finance module in CRM. This module is powered by our accounting application, Zoho Books, and is available in CRM if you integrate the two applications. This gives your sales agents an easier way to create estimates right from CRM rather than switching the books. Once the estimate is accepted by the customer, it can be converted into a sales order using the Zoho Finance module again. The order details are automatically synced to our order fulfillment application, Zoho Inventory, through its native integration with Zoho Books. When you create a sales order, you can check the stock availability. If there is no stock, you can create a purchase order for the sales order. Once the products come in, you can create a package, shipment, and invoice from Zoho Inventory synced with Zoho Books. Wholesale orders can follow the same solution route as online inquiries. You can use Zoho Commerce, which is our e-commerce store builder. Just like Amazon has different localized sites for different countries, you can also create multiple e-store websites for Spain, South Africa, and US to sell in the local currency. You can integrate your store with Zoho Inventory to sync the stock, orders, shipments, and invoices. One important point to note here is that each store needs to be integrated with the right inventory and books organization. So the US Commerce Store can only be synced with the US Inventory and Books Organization. You will need to have organizations in inventory and books for each region that you want to create an e-store for. This is because the base currency must match in each application. All the order and invoice details can be synced from Zoho Inventory to Zoho Books automatically as I mentioned earlier. Lastly, the customer support process can be managed with our ticketing application Zoho Desk which gathers the customer requests from multiple sources like email, social media, help center and online chat. The online chat is powered by Zoho Sales IQ. Zoho Desk has an integration with Zoho Inventory which makes it easier for the agents to get the order details right from the customer ticket. They can then check with the relevant team and resolve the issue. Here comes the part you have been eagerly waiting for. We discussed using multiple inventory accounts to manage your branches in different regions. You will also need to use multiple books organizations and sync each organization to its counterpart in inventory. As the data is spread across three different books organizations, you might think you need to toggle between the organizations to view the transaction details of all your regions. But Zoho CRM comes into our rescue to act as a centralized system where you can view all the transaction details from different regions in a single interface using custom functions. As you can see, the sales orders created in the Spain and South Africa books organizations are being synced from two different Zoho Books organizations to Zoho CRM. We have added the link for our detailed video about this feature in the description below. Now let's look at reporting. We have our business intelligence tool Zoho Analytics which can talk to all three books organizations to produce a consolidated report and chart view of data in Zoho Books. We have a detailed feature video for this process and you can find in the description below. As you see, Zoho applications can make your life easier through automation, giving you more time to focus on more important things. Here's a quick recap of what we have discussed so far. 
leads from various sources that are generated through different marketing applications like Zoho Campaigns, Zoho Social, Zoho Sales IQ, and Zoho Forms can be managed in Zoho CRM. If prospects are interested in your service, you can use Zoho Books to create an estimate and sales order right from Zoho CRM. Zoho Inventory to manage order fulfillment, Zoho Commerce to manage your e-store, and Zoho Desk for customer support. If you're wondering whether you need to purchase all these applications separately at different costs, there's good news. We have come up with a suit called Zoho One that includes all these applications with enterprise level features except for Zoho Commerce. So you will need to get Commerce and the additional two organizations for Zoho Books and Inventory separately as Zoho One only comes with one organization but everything else is all bundled together in one subscription. Thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to automate your business process and are unsure where to start with Zoho, please drop a request to zoho.to slash zconcierge. Have a wonderful day.